Live from Boston, Massachusetts, it's theCUBE, covering IBM Chief Data Officer Summit. Brought to you by IBM. Welcome to theCUBE's coverage of IBM Chief Data Strategy Officer Summit here in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, co-hosting here today with Dave Vellante. Hey, Rebecca. It's great to be working Good with you again. Good to see you again. It's been a while. It has. Last it summer. Is. That's right. New York. That's right. And now here we are in the, the dreariness of Boston. But Dave, we just we just finished up the keynote. As you said, it's a meaty keynote. It's a, it's a, it's a seminal time for Chief Data Officers uh, at companies. What, what did you hear? What, what most interested you about what Joe Kavanaugh said? Well, a couple things. Uh, I think it's worthwhile going back a few years. Uh, the ascendancy of the chief data officer as a role and a title kind of emerged from the back office records management you know, side of the house. And it really started in, in, in regulated industries, financial services, healthcare, uh, and government. And for obvious reasons, uh, these are data-oriented companies, they're highly regulated, there's a lot of risk. So it was really sort of a risk-first approach. And then that sort of coincided with the big data meme exploding. And then this whole discussion of, oh, is data sort of an asset or a liability? And increasingly organizations are looking at it, as we know, as an asset. And so the chief data officer has emerged as the individual who is responsible for the data architecture of the company, trying to figure out how to monetize uh, data, not necessarily monetize explicitly the data, but how data contributes to the monetization of your organization. And that has a lot of ripple effects, Rebecca, in terms of uh, technology implications, skill sets, obviously security, uh, relationships with line of business, and fundamentally the organization and the mission of the company. Uh, and so IBM has been uh, pretty leading and aggressive about going after the chief data officer role uh, and has events like this, the chief data officer summit, they, they do them sort of signature moments and these little intimate events. I don't know how many people you think are here. Maybe 150, I think. 150? Yeah. Okay. And they're the data rati of the Boston <laughs> like community. Like um, and they're chartered with figuring out what the data strategy is, how to how to value data and how to put data front and center. I mean, everybody talks about being a data-driven organization, but most organizations aren't. Everybody talks about becoming a digital business, but a digital business means that you are data-driven, that data is first. You understand how to monetize data. You know how to value data. Your decisions are data-driven. And I would say that you know less than 10% of the organizations that we work with are of that ilk, okay? So it's early days still. Um, what was interesting about what Jim Kavanaugh says, they put forth this cognitive blueprint that Inderpal Bhandari, who will be on the Cube later, um, kind of envisioned and has brought to life in his two years as the chief data officer here at, at IBM. And now they're, what I like about what IBM is doing is they're sharing their dog food experience with their, with their clients. Uh, he talked about that enterprise blueprint architecture, but he also talked about what IBM is doing to transform. So James Cavanaugh is the Senior Vice President of Transformation at IBM. He works directly for Ginny Rometty. Uh, and he fundamentally talked about uh, IBM as an organization that is sort of data first, uh, uh, cloud, and consumerization was the other big trend. Now, I don't know if IBM's you know, hit on all three of those yet, but they're certainly you know, working to get there. Uh, the other thing that was interesting is they talked about the data warehouse as you know, the former king and now process is king. Mm -hmm. And what I think is interesting about that, and I want to explore this with those guys, is that technology largely is well known today. People have access to technology, you can get security from, you know, you can log in with Twitter, LinkedIn, or Facebook, uh, you can you look at Uber and Waze, I mean, they're really, they're software companies, but they're built on other platforms, um, like the cloud, for example, these horizontal platforms. It's the processes, that are new and unknown. You know, when you look at these emerging companies like Airbnb and Uber and Waze and so forth, the processes by which consumers interact uh, with businesses are totally changed. Exactly, and that is that is what Jim and what James and Interpol were saying is that this is this explosion in data is really forcing companies to rethink their business models and, it, and it's their reporting structures, how they innovate, um, the kinds of things that, that they're working on, the kinds of risks that they're that are keeping them up at night. Yeah, so uh, uh, Kavanaugh cited a study for four thousand CXOs, and they said the number one factor impacting 
business sustainability in the next whatever five years is, are technology related. Which again, I want to poke at that a little bit because you know, to me, technology is not the problem. It's process and skill sets and people are the really big challenges. But I think really what I interpret from that data, it's what the CXOs are saying is it's the challenge is applying technology to create a business right, capability right. that involves all the process changes, the organizational changes, the, the people and skill set, set issues. Um, and of course, they threw in a little fear, uncertainty, and doubt with GDPR, uh, the recent uh, uh, breaches. The other big thing that you, you hear from IBM at these events is that IBM is a steward of your data, that it's your data. We're not going to, they have this notion of data responsibility. He didn't mention, he said, the unnamed West Coast companies. Of course, he's talking about Google and Amazon mm -hmm. who are, who are you know, sucking in our data and then oh, advertising right. to us and yes. telling us, you know, hey, there's a special and what to buy and what movie to watch and so forth. That's not IBM's business. But there's a nuance there that, again, I want to explore with these guys if we have time is, well, IBM is not taking your data and then turning it into your business through advertising. IBM is training models. Um, and what I want, I'm interested in hearing IBM's response about where's the dividing line between the model, uh, sorry, the data and the model. Mm -hmm. If the data is informing the model, well, the model then becomes IP. What happens to that IP? Does right. it get shared mm -hmm. across the client base, you know, within an industry? So I really want to understand that better. Right, and, and that is one thing that Jim Cavanaugh and will, will talk about, definitely, is the responsibility that, she, that IBM has in, in terms of our data and protecting it and keeping it private. Yes, yeah, so what I like about these events is they're intimate. Uh, you know, we get into it with the CDOs. We've got CDOs of banks. We have the influencer panel uh, coming on. A lot of data practitioners. And so much has changed over the last three or four years that uh, you know, we're happy to be here at theCUBE. It is. It's, it's going to be It's going to be a great day. So we will have much more here at the uh, IBM Chief Data Officer Strategy Summit. I'm Rebecca Knight for Dave Vellante. Stay tuned. Uh -huh.